All right, this is my Target Alpha Pinball, my first EM pinball machine. And it's got a few issues. Um, I've got the schematics, but it's hard for me to follow them, to say the least. Um, I do have a couple other pinball machines, which I haven't actually had to do all that much to in the time I've owned them. Um, Target Alpha, however, is proving to be a different story. One of the first things I did uh, was a little bit of cleanup. Uh, polished the front legs. The back legs are too far gone to polish out, so actually these are one of the legs that was on the front and one that was on the back. They're all identical legs, so I just moved the two best ones to the front and polished them up. Coin door, replaced the plastics in there, took it apart and cleaned it. Uh, replaced the chrome trim there on the shooter rod. Did the flipper buttons. Um, that was about it for the uh, cleanup. And I got into the mechanicals, uh, rebuilt the mini flippers. It's the first flipper rebuilds I've ever done. Um, the left one uses an older style assembly than the right, which was kind of a surprise. Uh, I didn't notice it till after I ordered the parts. Uh, I was able to get it all to work though. The left side flipper shaft, uh, the screw had bonded somehow to the shaft, so the screw that you see on top of the flipper plastic goes down into a shaft, metal shaft that actually is what activates the flipper and somehow, I don't know if they use super glue or Loctite or just through dissimilar metals, uh, the screw was bonded inside the shaft. Uh, when I cut the old flipper plastic off, I used vice grips to try and unscrew it and it snapped the screw three times until it was level with the shaft and then I just gave up and ordered a new shaft. Uh, you'll see some playfield wear down there, which I specifically asked the seller if there was any playfield wear from flipper scraping the playfield and was told no, so also told it was 100% working, which it's not. Uh, one issue I had was with the 5 bank target here. When you knock down this target, the lights would come on for all three of these. If you hit these two targets, no light would come on. So it turned out that somebody had wired the bulb from this target to this target to this target. So you knock one down, it just lights all three bulbs at the same time. It still scores it as only one being knocked down, but the lights were all wired wrong. So that was an easy fix, got that fixed. The other problem I had is when you knock all five of those targets down, it's supposed to light the extra ball when lit over there. Well, it wasn't. It was immediately scoring an extra ball. So, that again was really easy. That one was just the rollover switcher that you roll over to get an extra ball was misadjusted so that it was always triggering. So as soon as you knocked the targets down, it gave you the extra ball because that trigger was knocked down as well. Um, now I'm entering the more difficult phase that I need some help with. Uh, this game has alternating lanes 5000 when lit, which is a pretty cool feature up here. You can see the right one is lit. Well, supposedly when you hit some targets uh, and some other items on the playfield, that will move over to the right hand side, so it'll flip flop back. There's also two of them, left lane and right lane those also flip back and forth. So you can see right now you've got the lower left and the upper right. So I can go ahead and start a game here. And you see what I'm talking about. I'll just hold the camera here and knock a target down. It goes out like it wants to change but it never does change and then it just goes right back on. So the exact same thing is happening down here at this lower one. So as far as, oh, hey, look at that. It actually flipped that time on the lower side and the upper side. That is bizarre. Of course, when I'm filming, it's going to do something it's never done before. Anyway, whatever it's doing, it's not doing it right because those should be going every time flip-flopping over. Um, also related to that is the match number. Um, you can't see the match number now because uh, it's on ball one. 
but the match number is always on the same number. It doesn't change. So, I read enough on the news groups to determine that those two problems are probably related. Uh, there's an FS relay in the back of the machine. I can spin it by hand and it'll actually change the alternating lanes. And I can also get it to change the match number when you spin it by hand. Play a game and then the match number is different. So the FS relay seems to be working properly but is not being triggered is my guess. And that's where my um, troubleshooting efforts kind of fall apart. Uh, I've looked at the A relay that's underneath the play field and it's got a couple switches in there that are either open or closed and one pair of the switches measures as shorted when it's clearly open. I'm thinking that might be the problem but I can't seem to trace where those wires go to determine why they're shorted when they should be open. So right now that's where I'm at. It's playable. It's got those issues and I just finished playing a game and the match number showed 30 on the back glass. I had a score of 20 and it gave me a credit. So I thought that it was still working even though the bulb wasn't matching the match score but evidently that might have an issue too. And the other day I started a three player game and player number three wasn't scoring when you knock targets down. So I seem to have more issues cropping up. Uh, maybe because I don't play it enough, I don't know. But that's where I'm at right now. I'd really like to figure out this alternating lanes. Um, from what I read on EM machines, you pretty much try and concentrate on one problem at a time. You might cure multiple things. And like I said, I'm pretty sure that the alternating lanes issue is related to the match number not changing. So, making this video just to show my progress, show the machine, and I'll probably post it on RPG, or RGP, excuse me, and see if anyone can help.